Okay, hello again everybody. Sorry for that. That nap turned into a five hour sleep marathon. So I guess I'm going to be night crew for the rest of this stream. Uh, hopefully you can join me for it. If not, uh, it'll all go up on my YouTube video anyway. YouTube channel. YouTube place. Place where you YouTube start my timer. Okay. Now, uh, when last we left off, I had already torn through most of Hyrule. There's a few more places I can go. Uh, I'm not sure that I should stick around so much longer because I can go through the entirety of Brinstar and some parts of Norfair at this point in Super Metroid. And as iconic as this music is, you're probably sick of it as I am. So, next stop, let's go visit Metroid. Best ways to get there. Warp this way. Which takes me to Brinstar. And I've explored almost none of Metroid, so I'm going to make my way down. Oh, there's a heart container up there. I don't have high jump, but I do have some pretty decent wall jump skills. I say pretty decent, not great. I can single wall wall jump repeatedly. This is gonna be fun. Magic powder. I'll mark that off. Let's make sure that my stream can see the current progress list. Yes, excellent. No. Normally the high jump boots is in that room. Oh, it's going to be easier to go the other way, isn't it? Whoops. I don't have too many of those. I don't want to waste them. That's only a 300 rupee piece anyway. It is possible to glitch through those green doors. You're supposed to hit it with a super missile right on the light. It's possible to hit the super missile part without being on the right side. But I suck at that. This is probably another heat area. Uh, no, this is a speedrun area. Let's see, I need to 
save my super, my super bombs for that. Power bomb. Power bomb. I love the idea of Samus picking up and like dropping their enemies on on her head, on dropping her enemies on their heads. Heat area. You need the Varia suit for this. Apparently, in the randomizer, the gravity suit does not protect against heat areas at all. They sort of made it so that the two different suits are independent. Different progress items, basically. And this is the randomizer that did those hacks, by the way. You might also notice that there's a maximum missiles count at the top of the missile icons and power bomb icons. That is also the hack's fault. Uh, we can go and see Kraid. Uh, I don't have high jump. I could do some very uh, tricky jumps there. But I'm not gonna. Wow, I'm wasting everything. Super Metroid is the game that I've played the most recently. Here you can power bomb this and get into Meridia. Without the gravity suit it would be difficult. But not impossible. really. There you go. <laughs> Trolls. everything. And a heart piece. Take a moment to start checking off things on my Metroid tracker for once.
picked up everything in the easy part of North Air. The missile in Craid's subsection of Brinstar. As we work, work our way backward through Brinstar, uh, there's going to be a bunch of little places I can pick stuff off. Picked up the what normally is the spacer was just a heart container. I think I can go to the X-ray scope. Which is that long corridor with the double dips. Take some... Oh, I'm not going to be able to get there now. I could single wall jump my way most of the way up but then I'm going to have a problem when I hit the top in that there's a giant overhang. Yep, I'm not going to be able to get there. So let's see if I can get, uh, get anything over here. Just an energy refill. So I might have to detour back into the light world. If you were watching a while ago, I'm sorry about the bad audio. I think I've got it all sorted out now. Thanks to Trinity. Actually telling me that I had bad audio. Not going to bother doing anything in Meridia just yet. There's lots of other places I can search first. Who knows, I might get a gravity beam or a gravity suit out of it. And we're back in the light world. Let us return via the cave away from sky cabbages. Cave away from sky cabbages. hut. Not uh, which. Fortune teller's hut. Oh, I have the Pegasus boots. I could stop here. through is by using magic mirror. Uh, I guess I can't. Thank you. 
I'm taking time to kill those Octoroks because, boy, it feels good to have a sword again. That's right, speedrunners. I'm wasting time. Look at me. And we're back at Metroid. I'm going to save. I don't know why, something still freaks me out about the transition between the two games, that I'm always worried that there's going to be a soft lock, because it takes a few seconds. I should say, an actual lock. Soft lock is just getting yourself into an impossible situation. Full of heart container. All right. As you may have noticed from the earlier stream, you don't get uh, heart containers automatically from bosses. When I killed Maldorm, it gave me a uh, small key, allowing me access to a small chunk of the tower that I had uh, had to skip before because the big key was randomly generated somewhere else. Am I going down here, you might ask? Well, earlier, at the place where old Mother Brain used to be, right here in Old Turian. Power bomb and get an item here. Which is just a missile. I mean, it's nice to see a Metroid item in a Metroid game. Again, I'm going to pause and make sure that I'm actually marking off my items. Now let's go down into Brinstar. This is theoretically the first area of the game. I say theoretically because randomizer, who knows, you might end up doing all of heat-bound Norfair before you can even access this place. Okay, there we go, all marked off. I have my power bomb slipping. I should not be there. 100 rupees. What was that when I was grinding for money? that just yet because it's easier to do with the high jump boots and I just killed the one guy that I could glitch into. Uh, let's see if I can get up here. This is a slightly tricky area to do. I think 
get a wall jump your way up. Normally you speed booster up. But you can wall jump. Or in theory. That's easier with the high jump boots. I'll just not mark these off. Come back later. Spring ball. Nice. That gives me easier access to a few places a little bit later. Ugh, these side hoppers. Oh, they take a lot of damage when I don't have a suit. Super muscle. Oh, I just noticed that I am behind on tracking my muscles. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I think you can get two hundred and thirty at the end of uh, a full run here too. Uh, power bomb only, and I wasted my power bombs. <laughs> All right, be right back. I wonder if I should bother. The drops for power bombs from these pipe bad guys are. Oh, look at that! I got one. Never mind. They're usually pretty rare, but. These guys, however, almost always drop them. I was looking up the random generation table at one point, and I think they had a 102% uh, chance because of the way that the rounding works. Well, I'm not going to be able to get out of here, am I? Oh, I could infinitely power bomb. No, I can't. Never mind. I'm not going to do any vertical power bombing or any glitches like that. That will come back when I have the gravity suit. I am playing for 100%. I don't give a damn about how long it takes. So, y'all haters can suck it. Ah, wasted my power bomb again. I'm gonna remember to cancel my item. It's even a convenient button for that. 
Got another one now. It's good because I'm gonna open this door. I'm gonna save here. Right, that's a uh, missile door. I don't think I can get through anyway. Oh wait, I didn't actually see what direction that missile was going. <sighs> trolls. These game designers are trolls. get some more health. Kill that guy just out of spite. All right. I forgot that it doesn't just spawn a new person as a new bad guy just as long as there's still an item drop on the screen. All right, that's probably enough. All I want to do in here. Kill these side hoppers real quick. Switch to my grapple beam. Oh, oh I can get up there just by jumping. Nice. That's good because I suck at landing on top. What if it turns out? I can go in. I have the wave beam, but not the spacer. Which means I can get through save here because there's going to be some pretty annoying jumps. Ooh, I get more armor. Link is kitted. Mark that off. And I will take another moment. Mark off my Metroid progress. Still haven't gotten everything in pink Brinstar yet. So I think I will finish off the big pink room, which is right behind me. Continue upward towards Spore Spawn, which is theoretically the first boss. I 
there's anything else in here. I'm not going to waste a power bomb to find out. Tracker doesn't say that there is, so I'm not going to bother. I have the grapple beam, what am I doing? <sighs> and it's just a missile anyway. Oh, that's okay. spawn before I go and explore the rest of the first part of the game. Another thing is you may notice I don't get back my power when I use the save point. Who just slept for five hours and is still yawning? This guy. you have the super missile set at this point, it's actually theoretically possible to back out of this room. I don't think I realized that. I'm not sure it's possible to get the super missiles this early in the game. In vanilla. Oh, there probably is a way.
And that's it for the spore spawn. Always wasting my super missiles. <laughs> Very first time I got this area, I was fourteen ish. I saw this dead end and was like, what? What the heck? I just beat a boss. And there's a dead end? It's a crumble block. I actually returned the way I came the first time. A five arrow capacity. I think your reward for Spore Spawn was Super Missiles, if I recall. That makes sense. Alright. Look at the map here real quick. Let's go back to Criteria. Which I think... Yeah, I've got to take the uh, elevator back up. We could also go down toward the Meridia entrance. Go toward the X-ray scope area, see what's there. As a matter of fact, I think I'll do that. Climb my way back up to the right hand criteria exit. Apparently speedrunners call this area Green Hill Zone. Oh good. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a bit tricky, but I can do it. Every time you hit one of these little fireflies, the light in this area gets a little darker. But it only goes so dark.
Oh yeah, I've got to go around the back, don't I? Bomb here, a pillar comes up. Alright, I don't have any way to really survive down there easily. All that's down there is spikes, so do I care about 100% map completion right now? Probably not. I might check it off my checklist later. But I don't care that much. Matter of fact, I'm not even sure if it counts toward real completion. Don't think it does. Just occurred to me that somebody might be trying to chat me in uh, Twitch chat. I'm going to take a moment and really quickly set up my tablet so I can actually see Twitch chat. Are you going? Ooh, look at him! He's got a tablet. It's a second-hand one. It is getting old. It's a Galaxy Tab A. Ten point one, and it does what I need it to do, which is basically play Udemy videos and Netflix when I'm in the bath. I take baths, whatever. Let's see, I have the Twitch app on my tablet. I can connect to my own profile's chat room. Hello, enter. <laughs> uh, not going to choose to fall all the way back down. Also going to remember the fact that game designer jerks made screw attack destroy that block. I can disable screw attack, can't I? Yeah, I can. Makes it a pretty tricky jump, but I think I can make it. Yes. Don't think I can get all the way up here, though. Normally, you're supposed to ice beam your way up. There's two reasons that the wall jumping mechanics are a little wonky in this compared to a lot of other games. One, it expects you to wait about a frame before doing the wall jump. Two, it 
too. Oh, by the time I get back up there, it's probably going to be open or closed again. Yeah. Switch back to my beam so I can hopefully shoot. Ah, oh, I almost had it. The second reason is, if you stop your spin for any reason by accidentally pointing your gun in a direction, or pressing up or down in any way, shape, or form, um, you will not be able to continue wall jumping, because you have to be spinning to wall jump. And since that's the case, I'm just going to go back this way. Let myself fall intentionally so I can kill these guys, because screw your time. I'm here for fun. Hopefully you are too. If you're out there watching this getting frustrated because I'm taking too long to do everything, just don't worry about it. Hello, the Jess Ray. Happy to have you chilling and watching. Do you remember any of this? No? I certainly don't. Though Metroid is one that I played most recently. Spent most of the last stream in Zelda, going to the Dark World super early with three hearts and no armor and no sword. No sword, no shield, no problem. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I gotta get back to Criteria via, via the last room I was just in. <laughs> I can't do it without high jump because there's no place to jump off of there. Well, maybe. Uh, what are my options here? All right. Could return to Zelda via the Norfair Warp. I could also go through and see if I can kill Kraid. Let me check my tracker and see if that's actually possible yet. I can't imagine it wouldn't be. I should mark off that I've killed Spore Spawn. Power bomb room. Yeah, it looks like going back to the warp in Norfair is my best bet. And I'll take that way, get back to criteria. Let's go visit that Norfair elevator. This means a straight shot to the right. I 
Yeah, I have to tell you, the randomizing stuff is just wild. I can't get over the fact that you can get... The first item that I got in Metroid, uh, I don't know if you watched the earlier stream, first item I got in Metroid was the hammer for Zelda. And that was my first weapon, my hitting stick, through the first chunk of the game. I missed the power bomb. Oh well. Let's turn back on my screw attack. using save states, at least in part because I'm worried that the uh, emulator might crash. I'm using Meddefen. It's been fairly stable, but uh, this randomizer jams the two ROMs together into one, and I'm still a little leery of every time I make a transition between the two. Right now, this will bring me up onto Death Mountain and the Light, Light World. Ugh, I didn't mean to do that, I swear, I was just dodging. One nice thing about having two pieces of armor, half magic, and the master sword now, is that I can probably take out Blind's hideout. Oh, I suppose I've also got four more health than the last time that I tried it. promised I would spend some time in Metroid, and I'm gonna. Master Sword Main Link. Not when I play him, yo. Every time it takes that half second extra to jump in, 
Probably because it's loading all the assets. And I, I just get this sinking feeling in my chest, like, oh, this time the emulator definitely crashed. Anxiety life. So now I finally get to go and explore the rest of the early parts of Metroid. Ooh, Titan's Mint. That opens up a bunch of possibilities. Mark that on my progress meter. Normally that's an energy tank. Can I get up here? There's stuff up here. That is the high jump boots, and I can't get up there. Could have come the other way. Yeah, those are uh, very likely crumble blocks. All right, well, good to know. The high jump boots and the there's a heart piece there. They require going from the up above area in Criteria. Alright, which way am I going now? Well, let's go see what's over here first. Oh boy, this feels early to be here. Oh right, this is the way to get to New Turian. You have to have beaten all four of the bosses. A recollection of there being something in here. Hidden in one of the one of the ceiling tiles. I'm probably wrong about that. Eh, it's fine. Could look at the tracker, but it's fine. Lots of stuff to explore. When I start getting stuff stuck for stuff to explore, that's when I'll really rely heavily on the tracker. Green Brinstar. There's a few things that I can pick up here. Then I'll get back to... Then I think I'm going to jump back into Zelda for a while after I pick up these items. This is just a map room. 
useless. They kept all the map rooms in the game. Some of them were turned into the portals back and forth between Hyrule and Zebes. But they just gave us the maps for them. It's not like they're complete maps anyway. Eh, right. Need the speed booster to do that. Well, at least I got a hard container. Click that off. Actually, I'm going to make sure that I have my tracker for Metroid up to date. And that I just picked up a bunch of things all in a row. Huh. I could theoretically also get to the wrecked ship. Fantoon is a little hard with just your regular power suit. Oh, I'll continue down into the bottom section of Green Boon Star is what I'll do. Then I'll make my way back up. jump back over into Zelda. Not quite all up to date here. I missed a few things in early criteria. Like I didn't go where theoretically the bombs are supposed to be. I should really do that. First I'll go to the bottom of Green Brint Star. Which is, at the bottom of this shaft, there's another little area you can drop down into. save here because I believe this is where you're supposed to get the high jump boots. Ugh. There was only a single rupee in that fall of shame. Let's go get it anyway. I'm going to load. Okay, now, if I recall correctly, it is... Easy way to find this out. Turn off my wave beam for a second. Yep. So right where that blue splotch is, right below that, All right, I'm going to save, going to take a little bit of a run, five rupees. Totally useless, but checks off another item for completion.
now if I climb back up the right hand side where the native creatures to Zebes teach me how to do a wall jump there should be another item turn back on my wave beam before I forget Oh yeah, I have Spring Ball. <laughs> Here, let's show you how to wall jump. It's easy. Just do like this. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm gonna go back around. So, if I keep going up this... Ugh. God, I remember doing this with an original Super Nintendo controller. It was awful because they were even more sensitive than this Logitech to uh, accidentally pressing diagonals. Easy it is for us. Load. Smug little jerks. Save. You don't need to watch my frustration trying it over, over and over again. Always wait a frame. Load. And with the spring ball, I could theoretically get in there. Yeah, let's try it. Ugh. <laughs> theoretically. Yay, ice rod. It'll be useful. It's like the rich man's boomerang. If you've got lots and lots of magic to spend. <sighs> Figures. Okay. First of all, I'm going to save. Can't get a 
the spin started on that tiny little platform. What am I doing? Is there anything else up at the top? One square of map completion. Well, it saves me coming back later if it does turn out the map completion helps. Saving. Loading. Put just went wonky there for a second. <sighs> All right. I might have to change batteries here in a sec. Yes, yes, I see how easily it is done for you guys who don't have to actually press the inputs on a controller. There we go. Saving. else can I get to in here? Uh, let's see, left and right areas that I skipped up above. Just a missile. Those, by the way, only refill regular missiles. They do not give you any super missiles or power bombs. This area you can speed run through. And now we're back in Pink Brinstar. Let's take this moment to go back over to. Can I get to Criteria here and. Gonna go all the way back down to Meridia and then warp. That's okay, I'll do that.
wonder if I could make that. No. No, nope, that's high jump boots. No way to get back up here because I don't have the ice beam or the high jump boots. Hey, you know what? Let's go see if I can beat Kraid. He's down here. A little monster icon on the bottom right. Is this a refill? Yeah, good. Later in post-production, I'll probably do a super cut of all the times I go, eh. I can't actually get up there. Uh, I could infinite power bomb. If I could get the timing right. greedy. Let's get myself lined up properly. There we go. That's more like it. 
I'm gonna save though. <laughs> Probably have continued on there. Oh well. So, for context, this is what Kraid looked like in the original Metroid. One muscle takes him out. But that's because he's not the real Kraid. Reserve tanks are full. They are all full. Okay, so I can be drained of my health entirely once. And I will come back with another full three tanks and 99. Yeah, I think I can do this. I'm still saving though. I'm not messing around, I'm gonna hit him with some super missiles right off the bat. That was enough to make him rise up. chaotic in here, but nothing I can't handle. <laughs> Sounds like Freya Masky. A bottle with a fairy in it. Is there anything else in here? Throw down a power bomb for good measure. Ooh, that's glitchy. Interesting.
There we go. I'm going to save, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to update my Metroid tracker. I have another bottle. I did not get the energy tank that's here, though, did I? Nope, that would be this dot. Go after that, go and get the save room up above. Another super missile. Make sure that I'm up to date on my missiles. not going to bother going into Meridia just yet. Again, I'd much rather have the gravity suit for that. ever make a game, I will not play mean tricks like that, unless absolutely necessary. Oh right, I can't get up this way either. Ah, damn it. Alright, I'm going back into Norfair. Thank you. 
My cabbages! Now, let's figure out what my next goals are. I haven't had to change anything over on the Zelda side in a bit. I can now get to the King's Tomb, theoretically. I have the Titans met. I'll go back over to the Dark World to finish off blind. Go into Skull Woods. Well, I'm just about there, so let's go to let's go to the graveyard, pick up some items there. No oh, wait, west of sanctuary. up there. Oh yeah, I gotta bash apart that pile of rocks. Another five bomb upgrade. Not doing too badly for those. Save. Mark this off. Go to the King's Tomb. Which is in the graveyard. Let me mark that off. Which now should mean I can get a bunch of items up in Zora's area. Just that sword that I saw at the very beginning when I had no items whatsoever and was lustful after. Plus there's two items in the Waterfall of Wishing. So that's my next destination. So I'm going to get out of the tomb, hop in the river, and take it upstream. Wait, is it here? No, I didn't think so. Ok, 
Gotta go the long way around by the witch's hut, I guess. I think this takes me to Lake Hylia. Let's see. Oh, nope. That's the swamp. Oh, I could go and see the fugitive under the bridge, couldn't I? Eh, not right now. That'll be next. Did I get the mushroom? I did not get the mushroom. Another uh, feature of this rum hack is that when you're on something that normally gets replaced by something else, like the magic powder, uh, you'll be able to press the Y button to swap between them. That will be useful later. Here with the Y button, I can swap between those items rather than having to go into this mini menu. It's useful. Uh, sword becomes the progressive, the tempered sword. I still don't have a bow, though, so I can't actually beat the first dungeon of the game. But hey, I can wreck everything between here and there. Missiles, regular missiles. Mark off those. Take a moment and update my tracker as well. And if you're wondering what the fairy says, why you come in here and pretend like you have something this fountain wants? Come back with bottles. All she gives you is a free refill of red. This warp, I believe, takes you to Lake Hylia. I haven't been here, I might as well go check it out. Wishing Pond, on vacation. It's because all of the wishes, which are upgrades, are randomized elsewhere. 
Uh, do I want to actually go into the Dark World and try to take on the Ice Palace? I could. But there's also some stuff in the Light World I want to take on. Uh, oh, you know what, though? I do need to go into the Dark World because there's an item on the island in the northwest of Lake Hylia. You can only get to by being in the Dark World. I don't know if I can get out of the little... Um, I better check it out. Yeah, no, I can't get out of here. Unfortunate. Let's see what that item is. It's a heart piece. Alright, so underneath that bridge is a fugitive. Normally, this fugitive gives you a bottle to leave him alone. Nope. Uh, held up a bottle, but it turned into a five arrow upgrade. Guess I'm going into the dark world now. There's a couple of things I can get in the light world that I have to go through the dark world to get. Um, I could go visit the mad bat that normally tries to have your magic meter, but really just halves the amount of magic that you use. <laughs> well done. Let us have a cup of tea. Get it? Let us... There's also that 300 rupee piece that was sitting on top of the library bookshelf. We'll get that. Not that I think I actually need any money at the moment. I think I've gotten every item that actually requires money. But I am going for 100%. Someone's nest egg, Link. 
You know librarians are underpaid as it is. Now that I have the Titan Med, I don't have to go the long way around. I can just go in this way. And I should be able to take out Blind this time. I have to say it was pretty traumatic being in here with no armor, no sword, only the hammer, and everything could do three hertz damage. And I only had five total. Feel a lot less uh, hobbled at the moment. That's where you have to drag blind to. What the? Oh. I have the magic mirror set. No big. I can make it back there in no time. and wouldn't hit those guys before it took three with a hammer and it was not an easy task to actually hit them with it because the hammer has no range. Um, do we want to go up? Actually, I want a fairy. Thank you. Sure, let's see what's up there. Oh yeah.
The reason I didn't try either lever or bombing that floor is because neither would work. The lever just brings down some snakes on your head. Another five bomb upgrade. And the evil mad bomber what bombs at midnight. Evil midnight bomber what bombs at midnight. That's right, I'm making tick references. Go down the stairs and save the fair maiden blind. Tried though I might, I couldn't stay up. Hello, minion. That's my cat. It's his eighth birthday today. Everybody say happy birthday to minion. Not that he'll hear it because he's scared of everything. Couldn't. Tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't really matter. God, I'm old. Joke's on you. For the sake of argument, <laughs> I 
I still don't have a bug catcher net, so I can't catch that fairy. Alright. Curse you, sudden but inevitable betrayal. The food they serve guards lasts centuries. <laughs> oh, funny. And a crystal. The mark off that I have completed. Where is that? Thieves Town. All right. Pause it for a moment. Bring my tracker up to date again. Now I can go into Skull Woods. There's also a little area to the right of here that I can hit a lot of things with a hammer. Let's go do that first. Yes, there's a reason for this. That would be the reason. Nice energy tank. Mark off that I did this guy. Tracker says that I can now show the purple chest to Gary. I don't think I can get the purple chest, can I? Yes, I can take this guy to the blacksmith. He's actually a blacksmith. If I can remember where the blacksmith is. Even somewhere just off of Kakariko. Yeah, it's the light side world of where I just hit all those pegs. Light world side of... Where 
Hooray! Thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Twenty rupees. This is interesting. In the Japanese ROM, they didn't change that to look like water. <laughs> that was supposed to be the half magic curse in vanilla. Instead, I got another 20 rupees. Not that at this point I need it. Alright, so what is left? Back over to the Swamp Palace. I have the hookshot, I have everything I need. I can also go to the Ice Palace. I have the fire rod. And there's a couple of places up on the dark death mountain. No, oh, Skullwoods is closest. And probably safest. Let's go Skullwoods. You needed those rupees more than I did. Skullwoods has four entrances all next to each other. One of which is right here. And both of those holes are actually entrances as well. Oh, and then a fifth over there. I do not remember what order to be taking them, so I'm going to start down here. energy tank. Mark that off.
I have a vague recollection of there being something behind one of those vines. If I recall correctly, fire rod will get him. Big key. Excellent. yet. Yay, you want to lock the secret. The secret of many pits. Now I have a key. And I used it on that. Oh well. I need it too. I'm going back outside. Okay, so I entered the bottom left, came back out the middle, try bottom right. Ugh. That's not helpful at all. Try the one in the bushes. Placed a bomb. Here with the, big key, with the big chest, which gets me the key that I need. Excellent. I guess I did. Exploring. We're on an adventure. Thought I was out of range of that and I was going to wait for it to go by. for me to go in there. Guess I have to go back out now. Now I can try that last entrance.
Oh. Oh, let me just scooch on by you there. That's important, I guess. Oh, I keep thinking that there's going to be something behind those vines. the corners of those pits because of these blocks. I mean, it's probably one of those star pit switchers up in there. How do I get there, though? basement. Hey, my shield. Give me that back, jerk. I feel like there's something else that I'm missing here. separate section of skull woods that's blocked off. Can't get to it from over here, though.
Yeah, it looks like the rest of it you have to get to from the rest of this dungeon. I had to play the secret noise just now. What secret did I unlock? All right, because I had already gotten that chest. This room is now full of pits. The secret of many pits. That was the worst Nancy Drew novel. I mean, I suppose not if you're a pit fetishist, but... Your kink is not my kink, but your kink is okay. This is probably going to put a pit right in front of me as soon as I step on it. Look at my map again. Yeah, I'm missing something. Somewhere up one square and two squares left, I should be able to drop down into the top part of it, get at that chest that is otherwise inaccessible. If I get really stuck, I'll look it up. I don't think I've exhausted all possibilities yet.
So basically what I think is happening is I have to be able to drop down onto the north part of this room. Or maybe. Hmm. What? Why am I using the fire rod against these guys instead of my level 3 tempered sword? Well, because this. It still takes like 5 hits. I'm just going to keep going around in circles until I figure it out. It's not here. It's 
still can't access it from this side. That feels like that's the exit, because just north of here is that spine that takes you into the boss chamber. for a second and uh, figure this out. Oh, it's so that room with the pits that I couldn't get across to get uh, through the big key, through the small key. If I would have exited the door there, then I would have come out on the side where that weird spine thing coming out of a skull's face looks like. Let's go back that way. All right. Is this the right one? No, it's not. coin I'll never use. Ah, out of my face.
<laughs> Put him in the exact wrong spot. Well, I'll just tank that hit. This is not where I need to be. Where did that other exit come from, anyway? This way? No. Let's do this logically with the map. So I'm going to go back out here. Then I'm going to find the other entrance. Just this skull down here. Now if I go out here, this should be next to Yes. First of all. That's the top entrance to that place that I wanted to be. Why did I want to be here? No reason. There's nothing here. Awesome. Oh, right. So that's it. This was just a trap room, that's it. Fine. Okay. Now I can burn this spine thing. I believe this will lead me to the boss chamber. Let us save.
faster than that. There we go. <laughs> That's why I had that memory. <laughs> nice. I finally get a medallion. Let me mark that off. I just realized that my tracker was broken because I was looking at that walkthrough. Alright. It's the ether medallion. Did I get anything else? No, I think that's everything. I think that secret noise was it actually closing the room prior. I think if I push these blocks. Only that exit. Alright. I'm going to save again. Oh good. That's the very key I need. Okay, Mothra. Easy now. That wasn't bad. 
<laughs> now I have the map. And the green pendant. Okay, so that skull wood's checked off. Uh, where to next? Oh, it's just a shop. Guess I could fill up some bottles. Save, and I'm going to look at my tracker instead of wasting my time wandering. I could go back and visit Sahasrila. I still don't have a bow, so I can't beat the first dungeon of the game. There's a couple of things on the Dark World side uh, I can still do. I can do the entirety of Swamp Palace and at least part of Ice Palace. There's also a ton left to do over on Metroid's side. You know what? I may stop the stream for the time being. I think I am going to save log out, and I'll resume when I'm a little less foggy. I'm starting to feel napsish again. It happens frequently, unfortunately. Alright. So that's part two. I hope you'll join me for the rest. Sometime. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.